you said that you weren't the biggest fan of these. So Did I? Yeah. Oh, that's, all, that's all good. <laughs> Here we are with something new and exciting. So Nick, in our 10 year anniversary video, you said that you weren't the biggest fan of these. So two, oh, quest yeah. two questions to start off with. Yep. Why'd you buy one? And has your mind been changed? Um, I, can't, I can't remember saying that, but uh, <laughs> insert, I guess- Insert clip. And the 200s, they, that was, I don't want to say it. 300s are amazing, but I feel like that was the, sort of the last Land cruiser, yeah, like. proper yeah. Land Cruiser, and yeah, I, I guess because the, I had the 200 before, such a great car. Um, we needed a seven seater. I've got three kids, and they want to bring their mates around and whatnot. Um, so I would have gone to another truck, but they're not seven seaters. Yeah. Um, coming from a Toyota before, I wanted another one yeah um, and there's not a lot of option out there for seven seaters no. um, no that are roomy um, and also look pretty pretty tough when you put some wheels and stuff on so yeah. um, my opinion they are very pokey and they do mm. get up and sort of boogie um, I haven't towed with it yet I'm interested to see how it goes towing but yeah. from everything I've read they're meant to be better than the 200 so I'm very interested to see how it goes. Yep. Um, as you can see, we've done a few small yeah, things. You've, so um, you've done a little bit to this. Super, super observant viewers will have noticed I was away for a little bit. I was um, in Japan for five weeks. So what's happened to this car in that time? It went to Hunter Mechanical. Yep. What was done there? Uh, so we did a 3800 GVM with the J-Max Alpha kit, so three inch kit. Um, and then the guys at Ian Diffin in Belmont um, put on some impact 17 by nines and 35 by 12 and a halves tyres. I think it looks looks pretty killer as it sits. Looks tough. Uh, don't mind the the cute nudge bar that's that's going. Uh, we've got an ARB bar that's going on that. Um, but this isn't going to be like a touring rig or anything like that. It's purely to do a bit of towing, um, tow the boat and stuff like that, yep. and cart the kids around and whatnot. So yes, some may say shopping trolley, that's cool, whatever. That's exactly it's, what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, and then we've wrapped it in an Ultimate Fusion, um, being like a flat black color, scratches super easy. So that was sort of the first thing we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and then it's been tinted with Expel XR Plus, ceramic window film. Um, I think it, I think, you know, looks pretty killer. I'm not going to change, not going to black out the chrome or anything like that. I quite, quite like it. I think it looks pretty classy the way it is. So, yep. um, but yeah, that's, that's it, mate. We're not going to go. Not going to go too crazy. Nah, <laughs> nah. You know, we swap cars out so quickly that it's a bit of a waste, I guess. Yep. Um, but this car's down here a lot if you guys want to look at this one in person and see one that's been wrapped and whatnot um, and then all the other cars are normally here that you can yeah. have a look at as well so yeah and then I guess some of you may see that we've got cream interior instead of black <laughs> some would say it's a bit of a risky decision but interesting um, it's an interesting choice with uh, with three kids yeah I mean <laughs> I'm pretty confident that the protection products are going to hold up no problems it's yep. just an on ongoing maintenance thing I guess the reason I went that way is I didn't like the sand in the perforated leather yeah. in the black leather you can see it really easily whereas mm. in the cream you can't really can't see, see it, it. Um, and we put floor mats down and I think it's just a, something a bit different than just plain um, black interior. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so we've got all the products on this. So it'll be interesting to see mm. how the interior holds up with three kids. And yeah, like, like any of our other cars, this is just another different example of uh, a variety of products that we have available here. So if you want to come have a look um, at any of it, come down, have a look at the M3 or this or the Raptor 
or anything. Um, our whole philosophy is that everything we use, everything yep. we provide, we use ourselves and yep. it's tried and tested and we believe in it. Yep. Um, and so if you want to see how the interior looks with three kids living in it every day, <laughs> then you know it's a testament to the product. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I guess um, we've also got the boat project yep. happening. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. I've had a lot of good feedback on, like that people are excited to see how it's going to work. Yep. Um, Expel just recently released a marine grade paint protection film, which is super weird because it was only announced last month mm. and we had already been planning to do something last year. So um, we were just going to use the normal Ultimate Fu Fusion yeah, film. <laughs> yep, yep. And they've just released marine grade window yep. film as well, yep. which is pretty exciting. So um, if you viewers, followers, if you're into boats and stuff like that, um, Make sure you stay tuned because this will be a bit of a game changer in, in maintenance and protecting your pride and joy. So yeah. um, that's that's a big one, right? That's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. With everyone's, we've got a, a a lot to look forward to. And now that I'm back, we'll return to our regular content. We've got lots of exciting things uh, to show you. So stay yeah. tuned, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.